John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com from the Civic Arena in Halifax. I'm joined by Jack Flynn, who is heading off to the LA Kings development camp very soon. But, uh, Jack, maybe we can just start by talking about your, your past season, your final season in the Ontario Hockey League. Tell me about your season from your perspective. Uh, it was a fun year. I mean, we had a really talented team. Uh, we were young. Uh, it was fun watching all the younger guys come along over the course of the season. And obviously, your junior career has come to an end, and now you're, you're working to, to stay in the pro game, uh, doing sessions here in Halifax with Brad McCharles. Tell me a little bit about, about the preparation for your third pro development camp. Uh, it's just staying, staying hard at work, uh, getting out with Brad, and staying at the gym at Push Fitness uh, in Halifax, and really just working hard and staying focused on what you want to do. How do you feel about your, your development over the last... Uh, number of years obviously uh, you know, the dream is there to play pro tell me about uh, your progress from your perspective uh, I think I've definitely come a long way since uh, my first year in the queue uh, after I fractured my hip and then didn't know where I was going to play and ended up in the O it was definitely, uh, it was definitely tough for a while but um, I felt it kind of started to come, come together the past couple of years yeah, you had a couple of blows and surely your confidence may have been shaken at some point tell me about the recovery how you Managed to fight through that and, and get to where, where you are today? Uh, really mostly just taking it one day at a time, like not getting down on myself uh, and just looking to, looking for the next game, the next practice to just try to get better every day. And uh, what are your goals heading off to this, uh, this Kings camp? Obviously you want to make a, a strong impression, but uh, tell me about what you hope to accomplish. Uh, I just hope to get better every day and play my best, and that's all I can really ask for. Is there, is there a contract in the, in the offing? Is that something which, uh, do you have any signs? Is there anything that uh, leads to the, you believe, believe that? Uh, well, right now I do have uh, the AHL contract. Um, and with that, I mean, I'm thankful for that. And with that, I, that just gives me more opportunity to work hard with the organization and try to prove myself. Wishing you all the best, Jack. Thanks very much. Thank you. While we're on size, let's talk about Jack Flynn, of course. I'm not sure if he's 6'7", six, 6'8", six, but uh, certainly one of the largest goaltender I've seen in the last number of years. Uh, tell me about the Jack Flynn, because another, another goaltender who has, well, m many thought he drifted off into obscurity, but not the case as far as LA is concerned. No, absolutely not. And I mean, I think the size played a big factor in that. I mean, I think he, like Jack, for when he was uh, just coming up and getting drafted to the queue, I think he was a fifth rounder maybe to Moncton originally. Uh, but you, you had to notice the size and you had to be excited about it. But at the same time, Jack was going to be kind of a late bloomer just because of his length, because of his height. Um, difficult to get your body to kind of grow into that frame. So where Jack is really where he, where he maybe wasn't up to it at 15, 16, 17, at 18, 19, and now 20, 21, we're really seeing him coming into it. Because now he's, you know, strength training, he's putting on weight, size, he's grown into that frame of his and so when you look at his size and how well he moves in the net and his hands are just incredible I don't know how LA just isn't bursting at the seams that they that they grab this guy because I think he has a very very long career ahead of him as a goalie so I, yeah we're going to hear a lot about Jack Flynn like he's a guy we haven't heard early on but I think over the next coming years you're going to hear a lot about that kid.